Hey everybody, Light Brawler here once again, and welcome back to more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Last time we managed to actually acquire a couple more plates by uh, catching Cresselia and Regigigas, as well as some of the Lake Trio. And we also got a Darkrai as well, and Spirit Tomb. So we've been clearing out most of our remaining bits of the Pokedex. And a bit like off stream, I've been also trying to get uh, a couple of the missing ones. And the only thing at this point, outside of just a... Uh, a Zelf is just mostly a bunch of the the one quest that we're going to actually be starting doing on is for uh, Beyond and Manaphy. So that's why the team right now is a little on the weirder side because we need a Weasel, a Mantike, and an Overquell in our party. And we're going to actually be moseying on over to the Cobalt Coastlands where another Start Raptor uh, outbreak. We'll go to the Coastlands camp because we actually need to be there at nightfall to trigger a specific situation. So we'll just do that until nightfall. And it's still raining. Well... That being said, we're actually gonna mosey our way over to that little area. Okay, basket is going run. Hmm. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe we gotta talk to the professor about that. Hmm, I don't know if I did something wrong. Because I have them in the party. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe it just can't be raining, that might be the problem. Oh, I have to do it in evening, not nightfall. That's that's dumb. I don't like when evening and nightfall get like mixed in together like that. I'm stupid. Until evening. Now we got it. That's why I did it wrong.
Okay, now we we do this again. You heard something that sounded like a cry and a boulder shifting in the distance. And that being said, we need to go to uh, Seaside Hollow, which is that way. So let us fly over there. Mosey on over to that cave. And it has children! Three Fion! Oh boy, they're mad. Oh god, ow! Ow, 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 ow. Jesus. They, they hurt. I lost some items. This is the first time I blacked out. It seems you were rescued. Ugh, talk about pain. That's the first time I blacked out. If anyone finds my stuff, it's probably gonna be like either washed up on the shore somewhere or Cause I'm like those main feet they're like they wanna murder. That was uh not fun. Okay, at least I still have a ton of balls. Oh no, the baby's enraged.
Oh, it has Zen Headbutt. Okay. Okay, we're switching out. I really don't want to kill any of them. Try a agile style uh, flash cannon. How much damage does that do? Oh, this man, if he's really becoming a uh, pain in the butt. Let's try again. Ugh. It's still getting enraged. I'm just playing conservatively right now. I had to bail out this way after learning that they had Zen that Zen headbutt and Moonblast were in their move pool, so I'm like, oh well, that's uh, not fun. No, I don't want to run away. I want this thing to be in the ball. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to... I want to get all three of them, but this is just gonna take too long.
Okay, that was a terrible decision. You're gonna have to take one for the team, buddy. I do not like gangbangs like this, and I'm not getting any turns. Because if more Pokemon faint, I literally lose turns. Okay, thank you, because I want to revive my Dialga. Got it! That's one down. They are relentless on turns! Okay, that did about half, almost half, like less than half actually. Can I get a turn? Ah, oh, they these this is relentless. It's like I can't get a freaking turn.
have to like use potions. Also, hey Danny Lockhart, this is like already being the most frustrating battle of them all. Agile style bubble. Okay, that did 12 damage. Well, I'm, at this point, I'm just pee pee stalling. Because I think all their, at this point, they probably wasted, like, all their power points on, like, Zen Head, at least, uh, Manaphy's probably wasted all of its PP on Zen Headbutt. So it's still got, uh, Water Pulse and Bubble, though, and Moon Blast. Well, we took it out. We already have one. That did almost half. the slowest battle in history. Okay, let's see if we can get a second. All right, we got a second film. Now just for Manaphy. And there we go, we got, uh, we got two of the three Fion and we got Manaphy. That was a pain in the butt. But we did it.
Let's rest now. Ugh, that was just annoying. I see you caught our mysterious swimmer. So it was Manaphy all along. It seems Manaphy here is a migratory Pokemon, drifting to and fro across the seasons long ago. At least that's what it says in The Sea's Legend. I had a jolly hard time getting a hold of this tome, but it seems it was worth it in the end. Oh, we got three Comet Shards. Sal. Free cash. I will take it. All right. And we got uh, Fiona Manaphy's uh, data up to 10. Perfect. Let's return to the village. We still have one last thing to do. And that is actually to get a Zelf to finish this quest. Well, technically, we also have another quest that's, uh... It's probably going to be the one quest that I think it is. Yep. Now, here's the boy I was hoping for, Wander's constant savior. I'm afraid the day's finally come. This time, Wanda couldn't even find her way back from the city in Fieldlands, right on our doorstep. It's practically our own backyard, so she should know her way around. No, uh, Danny Lockhart, to get the shiny charm, you need every po everyone at uh, level 10. To get, uh, to just get Arceus, it's supposed to be, you get, you have to have every Pokedex that's not, like, event, so, no Fion, Manaphy, Shaman, or Darkrai. Everything else is fair. Gone astray in the Fieldlands. I want to see how many of the, uh, missions we've gotten done at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think we're almost done with the missions, too. There's probably not too many left. I think there's a couple that we're missing, but... Yes, I do. I did actually. That was the first thing that we did, which was having save data from Let's Go, Lorelei, Diamond Shining Pearl, and Sword and Shield. That's, that's all the stuff in the shop. So yes, I have that. I have data for that. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna ignore saving a woman in the Obsidian Fieldlands and instead go to Lake uh, Valor and catch us a Zelf. Uh, I should switch back to my usual stuff. I put them probably in the far farthest pasture. I'm bring Cresselia back. Shaman, you come back. I need to think of who I want as my sixth partner. Well, you're just getting levels because I wanted you to have levels. All right, to... I honestly find it funny that that book that was in Canalave City, it was essentially a direct reference to this, that last quest, and that, that's kind of funny. 
it's kind of nice that, you know, they're tying in, like, all the games and stuff now. And there's, like, so much interconnectedness. But then again, some people do not necessarily like the fact that, oh, it's literally, like, you know, the time warp bullshit. And all these, uh, wormholes and everything. Anyways, we're heading into Lick Valor. That's a quite a bit of damage. Okay. So you and Yuxi were like easy as heck, but but Mesprit was decided to be the pain in the butt, and we got the Draco plate. So we got all the late the plate of the lakes. You gather the plates related to each of the stories Kogita told you about. You should head back to her retreat. Seek the remaining plates. Alright, let's head back. That was just... Well, that was fun. We got pretty much... much the last Lake Spirit, but now we have to head... Uh... Yes, yes, yes. Here. So what would you like to do now? Let's return to the village. Hmm. Despite every having everything else done, we still are missing six Pokemon. So we're still having to actually... Oh, there's a Gligar uh, outbreak. Maybe... Let's just do a quick one before we... Because I actually do like Shiny Gligar. It's blue. That would be pretty neat to have. Okay, where are you at? You're at... Uh, there. So let's uh, teleport to the mountain cliff. Uh, Chris Alia, you can be in the party lead. For now. Oh, I didn't mean to dive. Oh, why did I go this way like an idiot? Um, I'm like on point today. I'm very sorry. My. The uh, sense of direction wanted me to go that way. And yeah, because uh, since Sword and Shield, they made it so that, with the exception of Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, uh, the stars are shine. The stars shiners are gifts. So gift Pokemon are. Shiny locked. And there's the mess outbreak of Glagger, but I gotta be careful and not get, like, caught.
Ah, uh, there, there's such a weird position too. Stop being in a damn awkward position so I could, like, throw a ball and go for you. at least. Well, it was reported to be gone. That's unfortunate. Also, hey, I should welcome aboard. I hope that you are having a terrific time and having a good uh, Thursday. I swear, I feel like all the best stuff comes when I'm not streaming, and that's kind of like that's the story of my life. Okay, we might as well, uh, do the thing with Kogita. Oh, there was a storm in your area? I hope that you're okay. I hope it's nothing, like, too bad, like, a tornado. I don't- it's- it's too early for it to be hurricane season, I think. Oh, there's a mass outbreak on Warple, but we're gonna go to the Ancient Retreat. Oh yeah, since eventually I was able to actually uh, go into like the Diamond and Pearl settlements, and I, what's interesting is that they have like these weird like uh, scrolls or whatever. On one side, it, there's a dude that actually looks like uh, Alder from the Champion for Black and White, and on the other side, the Pearl Clan has someone that looks like Archie, while the Diamond Clan has someone that looks like Maxi on this side. So I found that to be kind of uh, interesting. Anyway, let's talk to Kogita. Here you are again. Have you collected all the plates? Of course! Late famed member of the Survey Corps after all. Also, hi Volo. You decide to, like, show up, like, on cue. So, what more can you tell us? We're so close now. You must know more about the plates. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do. Wood? So you're saying wood is somehow tied to the plates? Well, I suppose that's what we get to learn next. Hop to it, late. 
Well, it shames me to admit it, merchant that I am, I'm quite out of wood in my stores just now. Are, 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 are you kidding me? We have to find wood. We have to go get wood. Fine. Fine. Deny us your knowledge. Deny us the sweet succulent of your knowledge. We're going... We're going to the Obsidian Fieldlands anyway. I don't have... I know I don't have any in my item box. I've checked that before. So I have to gather it. And that's fine. Because while I also get wood, I could also do this quest and make sure that we have a decent stream uh, on time anyway. Oh, that's a... Uh, that's a mean Pichu. And what's funny is the fact that I could e probably just as easily find uh, Wanda in the sky as much as I would also use uh, Ursaluna. There's one log. Or is that a satchel? Yep, that's definitely a log. But I have no space. Uh... Sure, why not? Okay, that's two. Just need one more. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if if Wanda had a pet fish because her mind's kind of like a fish where it's just like empty and wanders off into nothingness. Oh, that's an Alpha Staravia, and I don't want to touch that. Well, we got the wood at least. Yeah, 
now. Oh, there she is. Eh, help! Oh, please, I don't want to sprout mushrooms. Oh boy, she's getting caught by Paris. Level 50 Paris. Oh wow, that does a lot of damage. Uh, we're gonna shift out of that. You. I swear, I never survived here in Hisui without you as a teammate. I came to patrol because I know some of the villagers come out here to hunt for mushrooms. While keeping an eye out for them, I ended up hunting my, a bit around a bit myself for some vines. But the mushrooms ended up hunting me. I guess my brothers probably missed worrying about me again, huh? But you're so good at battling, probably even better suited to the security corps than I am. Uh, Paris, I don't want to deal with you. Away, you little twits. Thank you, Fred. I got my items that I lost from that battle with the uh, Manaphy, so I got all my stuff back. Uh, don't want to actually want to be in the air. All right, let's return to the village. And we can turn that quest in. Thank you for saving Wanda yet again. I'm so glad we got the survey core to rely on. I was chilled to my marrow when I heard my sister was caught up in a Pokemon attack this time. If only she could get herself assigned to patrol in the village for a while. Nice and safe. Oh, we got three star pieces. Well, we could actually go ahead and save these, uh, or at least sell these star pieces for some nice dosh. Oh, they get sent to your item box. Okay, that's, that's at least a good thing to know. I did not know that, because that was my first time, uh, whiting out. Okay, that's fine. Mass outbreak of Graveler in the works.
I actually uh, got in the uh, Pokemon Go at one point a Alolan Geodude, a shiny Alolan Geodude, so I have a shiny Alolan Golem. I don't know if it's in home or in uh, Go still, but I'll have to look at it later. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do. Have you gathered the three logs I requested? Oh, yes, this certainly ought to do. Now the moment comes at last! The big reveal! What, pray tell, is the secret behind this wood? It's clearly bigger than my... I don't even know why I was going with that direction. Secret? Your expectations need tempering, I fear. This wood is merely for fashioning myself new cutting boards. Cutting boards? You mean cutting boards? For cooking? The plates we aren't after are dinner plates, so this is hardly the time for cooking. How you complain for one shirking his own work this very moment. Poor Ginter of the Ginkgo Guild must have his hands full with you. But honest work, Aaron's honest play. Here you are, Light. A reward for the wood you've brought me. Oh, we got the pixie plate. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of the Fae. When used on a certain Pokemon, they become the fairy type. That's one of the plates we're looking for! <clears throat> Apologies, that's indeed one of the plates that we've been searching for. What do you mean, a plate? Let me see that again. Hmm, this does rather look like one of the plates you've been tracking down. With the engravings upon it, made it less accommodating as a cutting board. Whatever in green cross certainly gained a more pleasant flavor. Perhaps this is the board's power. The plate's power, rather. Well, no more need saying. What do you two intend to do now? Well, we've managed to collect quite a lot of plates by now, but I still don't know what we're to do with them exactly. It's just a hunch, but perhaps we should have a look around the Celestica ruins. Those ruins contain statues of both Dialga and Palkia. They might hold more secrets. I see. A fine pretext to continue shirking your mercantile duties to crawl about in old ruins as you enjoy. On with you, then. I don't need you to tell me. I'm going. The Celestica Ruins Light. I'll see you there. Go on. Now, to the Celestica Ruins. I'm curious myself what you'll find there. What What can we who What can we who live now learn from the remains of our ancient myths and legends? Alright, see you later. Yes, let's return to Jubilee Village. There is. A... Take on new requests, have your Pokedex checked. Oh boy. Wanda snuck out of the village without telling me and she hasn't come back. I hope she was bundled up against the cold too since I got a sneaking suspicion she went to the Alabaster Icelands. Whatever sent her out there, it doesn't seem like it was an assignment for the security corps. But what else would make her want to go to such a dangerous place? I really need some help from you again from you and that Ursa Luna. Use this scent from the scraps of Wanda's, Wanda's old kerchief and search her out for me. And this time I'll go look for her myself as well. I can't just stand by and rely on you every time. I'm her big brother. I can't let her down now. Wait for me, Wanda. I'll save you view this time. Oh, my savior. I was looking for you, you know. What? My brother went to the Alabaster Icelands? Zeke, that brother? The one who's refused to set foot outside the village since he got attacked by some shink and totally traumatized? Uh, we've gotta go find him at once. Please, Savior, you gotta help me one more time. And it's a reverse situation. 
Nothing here seems relevant to you. Well, we gotta actually now head over to... We could do the Celestica Ruins, but I think we should also save a poor man from actually getting frostbite. So let's go to the Alabaster Icelands first. We'll try and check every like little nook and cranny that I could we could potentially find. Okay, so that's a no go on this area. If I were to hazard a guess, it probably would not be near the Pearl Settlement. Also, yeah, it is funny considering the fact that Avalok is the only uh, Pokemon of the Lords that you actually can encounter in the wild, for whatever reason. It is very weird. Okay, so it doesn't... Oh. Oh, we're getting direction. Down here. There. Uh, oh, you, you can you and your Sneasler get me up there? Uh oh, a Glalie. Here it comes again! This may not be the best swap, but, uh, let's pray that it doesn't use a nice attack. Well, missed. Strong style triple arrows! Nice!
Oh, goodness me, thank you for saving me from that complete and utter disaster. It's no good, I still haven't found Wanda. Yeah, about that. Did you save my brother, my trusty savior? What? You mean Wanda was fine all Oh, good. Now I can pass out in relief. I'm sorry I made you worry. Never mind that. What were you thinking going to a place like the Icelands without telling me? Oh, well, the fact is... The fact is I came here for this. Oh, a nice stone. I came to find that stone so I could give it to, my, to you, my savior. I was told it was pretty rare, so I thought maybe it could help you with your survey work. Ah, oh, don't give me that sad look, Zeke. Of course I got one for you, too. I really owe you both so much, my savior, and always the one sending him after me. I was going to keep working hard to become a great security corps member to pay you two back for everything you've done for me. Come on, bro, let's head back home. I've gotten really strong with all my adventures. I'm sure I could get you back to the village safe. I'm really glad to hear you think so, Wanda, but the village is that way. Uh, I knew that. I think Wanda's still going to need you to look out for her a little while yet. Or more like a long while. A real long while. We got five star pieces and a peat block. Nice. Alright. Let's actually return to this camp. <gasps> Let's rest a little bit. And we could sell those, uh, star shards. We also got a peat block, which is useful for getting Ursa Ring into Ursa Luna, but I actually got one already. Okay, let's return to the village. Okay, there's another mass outbreak of swine up and a mass outbreak of star after again. So let's actually go, I guess, to the summit camp for this quest. Oh boy, there's an Alpha Rotom. Also, welcome back, Aisha. I hope that you're welcome to actually to power. Have a look at this light. This statue has been kept here far from the statues of the Alga and Palkia. Broken and shattered, and yet it remains. Do you know what it is? Of course you would. You're the greatest wielder of Pokemon this land knows. The one who could even bring low even Dialga and Palkia. This crumbling statue was once a figure of a Pokemon. One that was equal to both Dialga and Palkia, yet banished from our world. The great Pokemon Giratina. It was banished for its violence, left to dwell in a world on the reverse side of our own. It is said that being it's been laying in wait for the chance to bear its fangs in defiance and tear down Arceus itself. Now tell me, if this Giratina desires more than anything else to challenge Almighty Arceus, where do you think it might appear? Exactly! Where one place is closer to the heavens than other any other place in Hisui and where the space-time rift first opened. <laughs> oh boy. I can feel it. We're getting closer to the uncovering the secrets of this world. I dare say the excitement's loosening my lips more than it should, but... You see, ever since I was young, whenever I met with something painful or heartbreaking, I couldn't help but wonder why life was so unfair, why I was cursed to live through such things. Of course, I imagine we all go through something like that. Eventually, I chose to direct all my energy into my own natural curiosity and ambition. 
and what tickled my curiosity more strongly than anything were the mysteries to be found in legends in history in ruins you see i fancy that by unraveling these mysteries i could find how how the world itself came to be and with that knowledge maybe even forge a better new world like cyrus tried to do now if we can find the realm that exists on the reverse side of the, our world and meet the creator's unwanted child banished therein perhaps we'll be able to understand the nature of almighty Sinnoh itself do you only want to see it with your own eyes we must make for the temple of Sinnoh at mount coronet's peak dialga and palkia both appeared from within the rift once the gate opened there didn't they if these plates can call anything at all it seems likely that this is where it would appear Okay, I guess we have to head up. Not this again. This man is going to actually regret trying to, uh... Anything with Giratina. All right, we're going to have to enter. I'm sure this won't go hardly Fubar at all. You're correct, Aisha. This clearly can't go any... This can't get any worse. It's really pretty, though. The temple lies in ruins now. Columns cracked and broken like pillars now turned to spears, stabbing into the heavens. Well, I detect a distinct lack of Giratina. Is something bothering you? Ah, uh, I do beg your pardon. I seem to must be behaving strangely. I dare say you deserve to know what I'm really after by now. Ever since I became convinced that Arceus really does exist, there has been one question that consumed my thoughts. How can I meet such a being myself? It was in an attempt to answer that this question that I originally sought after Giratina and had it tear open that rift in space and time. After all, Giratina wished to stand against Arceus, but that didn't do the trick. So then I had you gather the fragments of the all-encompassing deity just as the murals of the ruins directed. Eighteen plates said to be the fragments of the all-encompassing deity. You hold in your hand 17 of them, so you must be wondering, where is the last one? Why, it's right here! You bitch! Now hand over the plates you gathered, I will be the one to bring them all together! My desire to meet Arceus cannot be contained any longer. I need to know what it is. I must know what it is. If I can meet Arceus myself, then I may also be able to subjugate its power. And using that, I will attempt to create a new, better world. Of course, if I create a brand new world, then this Heesui region we, that we currently exist in will be undone and returned to nothing. You, everyone you know, and all the Pokemon living here will vanish in an instant, as if you'd never been. If you want to keep this world from disappearing, then face me in battle. Now that you have a choice, even if you don't wish to battle me, I'm not above using force to take those plates from you. Oh boy. At 
leading off with a spear tomb. Oh god, it's Cynthia's thief. Gotta start off strong. And we took out Spirit Tomb pretty easily with one Moon Blast. Uh, I'm gonna swap out. Yeah, he's gonna get what's coming to him. Also, he has an Arcanine, which is uh, not normal from Cynthia's team. Bullet Punch. Uh oh. That's what I figured was gonna happen. Yikes. Well, we'll do fighting on fighting. See how you like this. Yes, Burb. Ah, sending out your first Pokemon. Oh, that's not fun. That's sad. It's Air Slash. Rip. Okay, next. We're fine. Wow, you last last one HP. Oh, and he has a full restore. Wow, that was a strong cell took did take it out, but that actually did. Oh, Garchomp. Wow, that was a spiky situation. But we're gonna actually take out Rosemary with Air Slash. Why? Why you? Why don't you have the blessing of Arceus? Why? How? I devoted myself to Arceus beyond any other. I worshipped it as the creator of our entire world. I bent all of my passion and interest to its study. All this time I spent poring over the legends, everything I've done. You outsider! It's almost as if you were spat out of the space timer just to get in my way! No. No, this isn't finished yet. Can you feel it? The chill creeping through your veins? The eldritch presence icing your heart? Uh oh. Giratina, strike him down!
Oh, I don't even get to have any of my teammates. Oh, this is terrible. I should have revived. Star after I'm sorry, but you had to take one for the team. There's no choice but to win this battle. Ripped by Roar of Time! Agile style. What? Oh wow, Cresselia with clutch uh, save. This is not a good position for me. I gotta revive Dialga real quick. Oh, we actually still get a turn. Oh, we missed. Okay, we hit this time. Good.
Damn it, we missed. Please take it out. Thank you. You finally beat Garatina. Turning tail and running from this puny human. Pathetic. I was the one to free you so you could so you take the power you needed to take on Arceus. I was the one who gave you the chance to claw open that space-time rift, driving the deity of space and time space and the deity of time mad so you could drag the creator out from hiding. How? How could this happen? Almighty Arceus, if you have any heart within you, then tell me. The blood of ancient Sino people flows in my veins, does it not? Was it then was, was it then that you find so lacking in me? Do you mean to tell me that this world doesn't need to be remade? I can't live with such questions. I can't bear not the satisfying ache to know. Answer me then. Do you have some dream that propels you as I had? So you do. Doubtless that that dream of yours would never leave room for the dreams of one like me. I am the great wielder of Pokemon, and you, you battle alongside your Pokemon. In the end, I was alone. But not you. You will fight together with your Pokemon to seize whatever dreams you have. Here, take it. Take the plate that started me on this path. The plate I once received from Giratina. My journey is over. My story ended when I lost you. And we got the spooky plate. Essence of Ghost. When used on a certain Pokemon, it gives them Ghost type. I suppose now you gathered all of the plates said to exist in this land of Hisui. The Celestica flute transformed into the Azure flute. So that that's it. The Azure flute. It comes to you. So Arceus wishes to meet you. Of all people, you had to be the one. Is that why you were brought to this world? I have no desire to watch from the sidelines as Arceus comes to you. And I absolutely cannot accept a world in which you managed to even defeat Arceus. Someday I'll solve every riddle in the legends of Hisui's Pokemon. And on that day I'll stand before Arceus' last. No, I will conquer it. No matter how many years, how many decades, how many centuries it takes me. The deified Pokemon. Let's, uh... Heal up. Oh, cutscene. Light! Hey, Light! Have you heard? There's been reported if a huge shadow appeared in the Cobalt Coastlands, and then it just vanished without a trace. Light, my boy, you must tell me. You went to the Temple of Sinnoh with Volo, correct? What exactly happened? I see. 
In that case, the Shadow and the Cobalt Coastlands must n be none other than Giratina, the Pokemon said to have once been banished to the reverse side of our world. I do believe this calls for a survey. The Cobalt Coastlands are pretty vast. I hope you have some idea where to look. Uh, yeah, we're also gonna stock up on items. Because that was a pretty nasty battle. Yes, I would like to buy, uh, 16 Max Revives, and I would like 23 Max Potions. And I will actually... I can't grab it and move it to the, uh... That's kind of sad. And I'll move, uh, all you in there. I should sell the other stuff, even though I can make... Heart pieces and, or... Shards. I need to get rid of this to declutter. And, uh... Buy five more of these. And I'll buy one more Ultra Ball. And we will save, because, uh, that was pretty intense. Figure out what's going on. On the trail of Giratina. Alright, it looks like we have to go that direction, so... Alright, let's fly. Or we could fall. That we did. We, we fell. We have Sneasler. Well, it's, uh, at the very least, it's not, it's just wanting to be alone. It's not causing, like, massive problems. Not like with, uh, Dialga and Palkia making everything, like, swirly, swirly, uh, bad in the sky.
Am I being dumb? I just went in circles. Oh. Yeah, I definitely think he needs uh, some problems uh, to be fixed, but we're gonna... We are going to save real quick before we actually enter. Yeah, he pretty much said a lot of stuff at Mount Cornet. Very loaded. Hi. Okay, if I successfully get Giratina in one ball, that would just be like, me like, I doubt it, but let's see if we get it in one ball. Yeah, I figured. Oh, we avoided that. Uh, let's avoid having a super, super damaging. Okay, did about almost half. Wow, Cresselia actually coming in with a double dodge. Nice job. But this is gonna hit. But you know what? We're gonna do this. We could be obscure too. Alright. It is kind of low, so let's hopefully we get it for now. No, probably not. Oh, we did it! Nice! Success! You found something shiny where Giratina was. You obtained a Graces Core. When used on Giratina, this large glowing gem welds with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. Nice. We got Giratina, so now let's mosey on back. Or we could tell him here. Volo eventually returned and told me more about what happened at the Temple of Sinnoh. He said that Giratina, that it chose to protect the land of Hisui after discovering it was no match for you. He said that we should study it and add it to the Pokedex. He wandered off after that, saying that this was probably the last time we would meet. But I can't help but feel he's far more invested in our completion of the Pokedex than he would have us know. And we got, uh, 10 on Giratina. So it was number caught, number times used Shadow Force, strong style move, and agile style move. So we got max, uh, rank with it as well. Let's return to the village. Before we go to the Temple of Sinnoh, there are two things that I want to do. And they are with, uh, Adamant and Iridia, so we actually should go... So we're gonna actually head back to the... Uh, Cobalt Coastlands first and have a nice little chat with Adam and before we actually do anything else.
And we will save as well, because I'm being compulsive on it. So let's actually head over to the diamond settlement. Hey, Adamant. Hey, if it isn't light, good timing. I found some treasure you'd be interested in. Did you, I mean, you're happy to fill you in, if you're curious. That's the Survey Corps spirit. Curiosity what moves science forward, according to good old Mr. Professor. But come to think of it, what it found seems too valuable just to let you in on it for free. You need to work a little. The Diamond Clean Scissor. Here's the deal. If you want to show me what's in your mind, your heart, your soul. In short, battle me. I'll pass. Then it's on. Time to see what you've got. Here I come. Knowing full well how tough you are for the future of the Diamond Clan. Uh. He's got also an Umbreon and a Vaporeon on top of that, but they're half the level of his Leapion, which is his main partner. Strong style. Okay, Quick Attack. Umbreon's looking around. Vaporeon's looking around. Okay. Okay, we're gonna use Lunar Blessing and get our health back and obscure ourselves. Uh, I'll just Lunar Blessing him again, so that way we're back at full and I don't have to waste, uh, potions. Strong Style Psychic. Wow, Vaporeon is tanky! I know it has high HP, but like, jeez, that was, like, tanky. Battle decided. You're really something, and I'm a man of my word. So here's that treasure. Oh, we got an adamant crystal. When used on Dialga, this large glowing gem wells with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. This used to be my grandfather's. He said it was something related to all my s to sin. I mean, to mighty Dialga. So now that I put you through the ringer a little, it seems you've had the right to give it to you since you're the one who caught Mighty Dialga. You know, I ought to tell you, I'm glad it was you who fell out of the sky to us. You taught me another way to get along with Pokemon. Another way to relate to the world. And we get three Comet Shards. Okay, let us actually... Let's report then, I guess. And we got Research 10 with a uh, Umbreon, at least. 
let's return to the village. And if you thought that that was just the only triple uh, threat battle that we're going to deal with, we're going to actually be heading over to the Pearl Clan. So we got to go head to the Alabaster Icelands. Well, it's for them, it's just so that way they could change the their forms. So let's actually head over to the Pearl Settlement and meet with Iridia. Also, apparently there's a glitch where if you spin around uh, Iridia, it, it causes some nice problems. Or like, uh... I think it messed up my UI a little bit too, so... Ma'am, you got issues, and especially with the way you're dressed out here. Hello, Light! I was just about to go find you, telling about the precious, incredibly precious thing I found. Are you curious? Tantalized? As you should be. This isn't. There isn't a single person of all vast Hisui who wouldn't be interested in treasure. But anyway, before I show you, can you guess what I want you to do? A battle. Yes, exactly. I want to be able to achieve feats like yours, like what you did at top Mount Coronet. Now, give me one moment. I need to center myself. My partners are I'm going to get stronger and travel ac all across this wide world. Alright, so she's leading off with her Glaceon this time around. And she's got her Espeon and her Flareon. Well, we took out the biggest threat of the entire bunch. That tickled. That also tickled. Heh. Burn? Wow. Mean. Yeah, it kind of seems like the, they're the polar opposites. Because they both have the Sinnoh evolutions, and they have one Kanto uh, evolution and one Johto evolution. Wonder, Light, are there people even stronger than you out in the world with Pokemon stronger than yours? I'll just have to find out for myself, I suppose. Here, the treasure I promised you. And we got a lustrous globe. When used on Palkia, this large glowing orb wells with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. I'm told this once belonged to the founder of the Pearl Clan. It's somehow connected to all my sin er, I mean, to mighty Palkia, I mean. And since Mighty Palky is with you now, I'll entrust the Lustrous Globe to you, too. Thank you, Light, for everything. And we got more Comet Shards. I think it's a key item. I need to press the right button this time. Yep, so we actually can change, uh, Diago's form at will. So this... 
is Origin Form Gear, it's uh, Origin Form Dialga. Horse, return. And we'll revert you back to your standard form. So pretty much like with uh, all the items that we could use, like in every other game, we could turn it in, turn, uh, change form. I should do that for Palkia for research too. Actually, let's heal first. Yep, it's very jagged. And Palkia kind of looks more like a horse. They both look like horses. I don't know why they look like horses. Uh, yes, that actually is what it, it goes by. So there's, like, their altered form and origin form. I think it's, uh, clarified, I, I believe. But now we have, outside of Arceus and a couple of other things that'll probably be... Oh, we got a cutscene here. Oh, Kogita's here, too. I've just been told of the foul plan Vildo had concocted. Well, think no more on that scoundrel. Just another tale of passion burning too bright and consuming its bearer. That is what happens if you allow it to. But what of you? Are you making progress with your, what you call, your studies of Pokemon? Surveying, was it? It's going alright. Indeed. Well, Hisui still holds more fascinating Pokemon. Shall I speak to you of one of them? Which Pokemon would you like to hear about? Ah, this is where we get the forces of nature. Ah, yes, Tornadus. In every direction it flies, stirring up tremendous storms as it goes. When a blizzard bla batters the Alabaster Icelands, Tornadus may be about. And we can talk about Thunderous, too. Now, Thunderous, as it flies around, it fires bolts of lightning every which way. When a rainstorm lashes the Cobalt Coastlands, Thunderous may be about. And Landorus. Ah, yes, Landorus, the Pokémon hailed as the Guardian of the Fields. It seems to be glimpsing the Obsidian and Field ones. Perhaps you'd be so good as to catch it for me? Is that so? I know why these three have chosen to show themselves. Perhaps the cause lies within the space-time rift, or simply within their own rooms. I suppose their stirring up storms and casting bolts of lightning may trouble you aplenty, but nature has a need of such things. If you wish to know more, you best study the Pokémon for yourself. When you've completed entries in your Pokedex for Landorus, Tornadus, and Thunderous, come and speak with me. Now... The real question is... Do we go for the forces of nature, or do we go for Arceus? Oh, I am honestly not going to like Thunderous if it's going to take that long. But we shall save for now. Because we're almost done. So there's a mass outbreak of Gyarados. Actually, I checked, and you don't technically need to get, uh, you don't need them to get, uh, Arceus. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think you need to uh, get all of them. I just have to check something real quick. Oh, I do probably need to get them. That's unfortunate. So it's just, uh... So I do need to actually do these quests. Okay, well, we need to make it snow. And it's snowing. Now the real question lies, where is, uh, where are they going to be? Oh, uh, I didn't even hit that. Oh, yeah, this is just like, this is just regular snow, it needs to be blizzard. <laughs> Alright, let's try. We're probably gonna have to toggle with, like, time. Okay, perfect. We have the right condition. There you are.
Wow, it's really finicky. Just get rid of this out of the way. It's tougher. Ah, oh, damn it. Gotta reset the weather again. Now we have no snow. Still no snow. Yeah, we gotta have like blizzards. That's the condition. No, I had to bail out.
There we go. Got him! Torn at Sours. That's one down. All right. Let's return to the village and let's go to the Cobalt Coastlands for Thunderous next. Oh, but apparently we can actually Oh, you're not far then. We have to do it in the thunderstorm. Where the heck is this thing? Oh. 
Cause that's thunderstorm, right? Oh, there you are. Too. Need to be careful. I don't want actually having any company. Strong style. Uh, Cresselia. I mean, it worked the last time. We'll do it this time, too. Just a little bit more. I don't know how much this is gonna do. Oh, perfect. We'll use an Ultra Ball. Nice, that's two down. Oh, but we, like, are in a terrible position. <laughs> now we're better. Let's return to the village. Uh, let's buy a couple more stick globs. And let's sell... Ooh, we have a ton of comic shards now. Oh, we had those for... Uh, buy that. 
by that. And sure, why not? Yep. We're gonna save just in case. Alright, we're headed off to the Obsidian Field Lands for, uh... But we also have to make sure that they're ring 10, so that's gonna... So that is going to pretty much be the next part. Uh, Grand Tree Arena, I think, is quicker to get to Ramanas Island, because that's where we're heading. Now the question is, is it picky on the time of day? Oh, there you are. Swirly, 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 swirly. No, you're not getting away. Okay, at least that did, uh, take it out. That's good. That's very nice. 
swap to Cresselia. Wow, it actually it took a lot of damage. They can't go to sleep technically. They have they can be drowsy but not sleep. Ow. Good night, Chris Elliott. Uh, this is a, uh, not a fun predicament. I'll use a max revive on Dialga. Oh, and I still have a turn. I probably need to just wait, uh, wait it out. I forgot about that. Okay, now it's not in enraging anymore. Maybe we can, we can get it. Wow, compared to the other two, this one's just like not wanting to cooperate. Oh, so that's how you wanted to play. You didn't like the Ultra Ball. Well, we almost have a uh, perfect research on Lander, so we could probably do that. Because we have to get perfect research for those three. Okay, what do we have? Bleak Windstorm and Agile Style Move, Wild Bolt Storm and Agile Style Move. I just gotta get it an Agile Style Move, easy. We will sadly have to make these be the, the sacrifices.
They only gained one experience point from that. They did not like that battle. Crimes against Bidoofery, that's what it's called. Wow, a Starly that did not run away. Alright, we got 10 on Thunderous and 10 on Landorus. Okay, Tornus is the last one. And we get double points on... Using agile style moves or uh, and bleak one storm. Oh, beat him ran away. Strong style and extra sensory.
Alright, one more blink wind storm should uh, get 10 for uh, this. Alright, let's head out. Yep, we got 10. Perfect. Would you like to return to Jubilee Village? Yes. Alright, let's ha actually head to the Ancient Retreat. Report these findings. And right on cue. Ah, you arrived. You know much about Landris, Tornus, and even Thunderous. Well done. In more normal times, I would bid you let those three fly free as is their nature. But we are yet fresh from the tearing of the space-time rift. Until its after effects fade entirely, perhaps it's better to keep our trio contained. And now it is time to tell you the rest. There is one more of that cohort. Come. It's her! The sassy pants! This is Enamorous, a Pokemon hailed as the Herald of Spring. Enamorous is not particularly given to ill behavior, but I imagine you'd like to document her for your Pokedex, wouldn't you? Catch her, then, if you like. She always fl 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 flits about lit's about in the Crimson Mirelands. Okay, well, we got a new mission. And let's return to Jubilee Village and get enamorous. Yep. Enamorous is a newcomer. So we have to head to the Crimson Mirelands to get, get her in particular. Careful because we're out this skin Whoa, she's very defensive. This is a lot trickier than the other places because the marsh.
Oh god, pink tornado. Yeah, this marsh is just no joke. It doesn't help that there's like two alphas like around. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Oh crap. I'm not risking a wipe. Please confuse. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Uh, it does not help that she has like a ton of like Pokemon and particularly several alphas like in the vicinity. And that the tornado spawned literally in a precarious position that I can't, like, dodge. <laughs> yeah, no, bailing.
god, this is like the worst. This is the worst of them all. Gotta be late. Oh, it does not help that there are programs around. Ow. This bitch is not, like, messing around. N yeah, Krogan sniped me. I got killed- I got taken out by, uh, Krogan. You know what, I'm gonna, uh, do this, take out these alphas, so we don't have to have a distraction. Damn it. Oh, this this is like brutal.
Like, it's hard because of the fact that we move so slow in the bog. That's the problem. Yeah, this is just like... She's actually more trickier than the other ones. Like, how? This is like... I have to dodge roll then, that's the problem. I just wish I didn't have to destroy her barrier three times. No, she's not the boss. I don't like that there's so many poison Pokemon in this area. She always puts one right in the direction that 
Oh my. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry, this is just frustrating. Now's the time that they didn't put her in a land that was like completely like covered in marsh. I'm getting really angry right now. This is not what I want in like any playthrough is to get angry. Oh my... <clears throat> yeah, I honestly need to figure this out. I, this is just getting me, like, you know, more and more frustrated. So we're... We're going to actually have to call it from there, because that was just... I don't necessarily like getting frustrated, but... Hopefully we can get enamorous tomorrow, and... Yeah, but I, I didn't get her barrier gone, because I need to hit it three times, and that's when I could actually battle her. That's the problem. I only got it, like, down to twice. And then I just kept messing up with the tornadoes. But, unfortunately, that's going to be it for now. I do apologize for getting a little, like, worked up, but that's frustrating. That's bullshit. <laughs> that the, that it's in the Crimson Virelands and the bog's just, like, slowing down. But we'll be able to try to get her tomorrow as well as, uh, Enamor, or, as well as Arceus. So thank you all for tuning in. This is Light Brawler, and I'm hoping that you all have a fantastic, a fantastic evening.